Hey, Noel. Excellent. Hello, Bill Lawrence. Hello, Jeremy Swift. Thank you guys so much for joining us right here on Open Dialogue talking about Ted Lasso. Happy, uh, happy to be here, man. Oh, man. I tell you, there are certain TV shows that I watch and just they kind of grow on me. And then there are others that I watch and they find ways to keep getting better. And that is exactly what happened with me and Ted Lasso and uh, Critics' Choice Awards, Golden Globe Awards, Writers Guild Awards. Congratulations to, to all of you because this really is a TV show that is a team effort. And I, I'd love to hear from each of you about what you think has made this TV show, this show click with so many different audiences. Uh, look, thank you for the nice stuff you said. First off, we're grateful that anybody gives any of their time to watch a TV show. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, uh, look, the, uh, um, if we knew what was going to work ahead of time, there'd be a lot less, you know, you know I, I certainly would have made a lot less stinker TV shows. I've made, you know, <laughs> tons of shows that didn't work and, and luckily they, they weren't on TV for more than a second. Um, uh, I think what we, the only thing I can say, and it'd be interesting if Jeremy has anything else is, um, if for us as a writing staff and actors and actresses and crew, uh, it was therapeutic to work on the show because, you know, as a, a, we were grateful to have jobs in a time that not everybody got to work and be around people that we would want to see anyways when everybody was isolated. And, uh, uh, and, and ultimately to work on a show that was about empathy and kindness and forgiveness and optimism at a time that many of us weren't feeling that way. Uh, it was really therapeutic in real life so I don't know, maybe there's a chance that people got that vibe, you know, when they were watching the show, because we really felt that vibe doing it. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Thanks for that. Jeremy, other thoughts on that? Um, absolutely. Um, um, un unlike Bill, most uh, pretty much everything I've been in has been brilliant. Um, so, uh, <laughs> That's not true. That's nothing... not true. Go to a clip right now. I wish I wish they did. <laughs> um, I wish they did. No, um, it, it, was, um, it was a great show to work on. Uh, everybody in it is, um, sorry, there's a cat trying to get in my room. Um, uh, and um, there is a real family feeling about it. Um, I think a lot of people have been, have taken to it and watched it a number of times because it's so surprising that it, it is funny and positive and has got this humanity. We're so used to watching things that are kind of like oh yeah that's dark and cynical that's how it really is um but this show you know ducks that one completely and i think people are like how is that how did that happen and they they go and watch it again and they, they they're curious yeah. to to sort of see how why, why why is this funny and positive this is so unusual have you watched it jeremy i've watched it I, for me i've watched it beginning to end 50 times i haven't <laughs> I've, only, I've watched it. I've watched it about uh, nearly three times. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Because well, I think I, I, what I, I love I, about I, this. Yeah. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, no, I just I no, uh, I I I'm amazed that people have watched it um like twelve times. That's uh, and that's and that's like uh, Star Wars kind of. Um, fan, fan By the way, day, that, is... that's going to be what you get burned on, man. It's going to be Jeremy Swift says Ted Lasso likes Star Wars. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, you know, I love how this show hits multi generations. I mean, my son, who was a college student, Thomas, and give him a shout out. He actually introduced me to this before I got a chance to check it out, and he just completely fell in love with it. He's he's got his Ted Lasso T-shirts. I've got the Goldfish T-shirt coming from Amazon. So it, it hits generations across the board. And that's something I love about it. And you talk about how this does talk about empathy, but it, it, it is a show that really reaches into the heart and you see the heart and the character arc of everybody change throughout this. And I love that. And it's hard to, to maintain that and make that happen. And I just congratulate you guys on on making this thing so successful. Um, I love the lassoisms uh, that, that come out and, uh, you know, how many of those are actually scripted and how many of those had a little bit of improv? Any, any insight there? Yeah. Well, wait, well, first of all, congrats on finally connecting with your son, man. I know that was a huge, <laughs> huge, no, I'm joking. I have, I have the same, exact same thing. My boy is the first show and I've done a lot. 
that my boys watched with me and they actually hit me up for gear all the time. They're like, when you're at work, can you just steal a couple jerseys? And I say no, <laughs> and then I do it. Um, first time I've admitted it. The, uh, 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 but um, um, thanks for, for saying all the nice stuff. The coolest thing about writing on this show, especially when you talk about the lassoisms, is one of the writers in the room with you is Ted Lasso. And um, not only you know are most of them scripted and most of them from his head, but you get to hear him you know, long before you shoot him because he does it in character and you get to see if it's going to work or not. And it's the ultimate cheat code for when you're writing a show. Um, I mean, I encourage everybody if you're doing a television show to have the lead actor or actress also be an amazing writer. And then you can just try out everything they say in the room before you ever film it. It's just not usually how it works. I have to Go say... On. Oh, sorry, ahead, I think you're winding up now, aren't you? I have to say also, Jason is an amazing improviser. Incredible. He is. Jeremy Swift, Bill Lawrence, thank you guys so much for joining us right here on Open Dialogue. Really appreciate you. Appreciate the show. Can't wait for season two. Hey, thank great news. Appreciate you, uh, man. And a uh, uh, shout out to your, your son and his pals at, at school for watching the show, too. We're really grateful. Nice one, Thomas. Thanks, guys. See you, man.